Good afternoon, guys. How are we all doing out there? Um, how are you all bearing up with this uh, lockdown that all of us are going through right now? Three billion plus people worldwide in lockdown. And um, listen, it's tough, you know, because we you know when when most of us are not used to this, we you know we all enjoy our freedom. And um, what worries me is you know what's going on behind closed doors because. You know, you have to be so tolerant and you have to get on because people aren't supposed to be around each other 24-7. Personally, I've got four young children all under the age of 10. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you, there's times I just have to get out, you know, even just to stretch my legs because, you know, it's just, it's just fucking hard. It's hard graft, do you know what I mean? Having said that, um, you know, there's a directive with, um, you know, we've all got a social social distance keep away and hopefully it's all gonna fucking pan out look i've got my own opinions on it all guys um i don't want to get fucking too political on it all i just wanted to touch base with you all um and uh the only thing i will say and i'll, I'll touch on this uh basically what i said before in the last video i put up um it is all fucking doom gloom fear uh, it's just coming out in waves and waves and waves from mainstream media. It's, it's, all, it's, like it's just on, it's on the fucking loop, isn't it? It's just non-stop, you know. And what that does, that puts you into the lowest frequency form ever. Uh, when you fear something, it's not actually what's happening right now. It's the thought of something that's happening further on, along, you know, down the road. And of course, you haven't reached that point yet. So what's the point of it? The only way I would say it just change the mind, change perception. This is what I've always said. I mean, you know, it's all bollocks because what mainstream tend to do and, and, and politicians is they tend to get us all at each other, black, white, left, right, get us all squabbling and, and dealing with fucking stupidity. Where the bottom line is colour and it's all bollocks. You know, we are spiritual beings um, where we're all but just energy as i say as well we have an aura around us and uh and it's it's our perception it's how we think that's what's the most important thing is it's about individuality and and spiritual awareness and what i would say to everyone out there is change the mindset uh go high and that is appreciation understanding tolerance and of course the most important one i've ever uh, which is love uh, so showing that all the time changing the pictures in your head every time you get a negative thought change it to something that it really makes you feel good makes you feel positive um and and it changes the whole mindset and it changes the frequency and what you gotta understand about television is the reason why they call it programs is because it's programming and news especially the news that's going on right now let's have it right if i was in control of this world and i was in control of the of the news i would have eight or nine different items every day of real positive beautiful things you know where people are all getting on and you know just i'm sure there's eight or nine beautiful stories out there every single day to report on but they don't do that do they it's all fucking you know doom and gloom and all the world's worst things so you feel totally and utterly dependent you know on people and uh, and this is how I, I i feel about it all anyway i don't want to get too political obviously you know what i would give right now for all this to be over and for us all to be at Chelsea and uh, just enjoying the football and everything else. Now, the looks of it is, guys, that the season looks like it's going to be run its course. Do you think um, that's tough on Liverpool? Would you give Liverpool the league, bearing in mind that they've literally just pretty much run away with it? And let's be fair, they would have won it anyway. Or do you say, no, fuck them. Um, you know, it is what it is. The season hasn't ended um as as such so therefore they can't be champions or they can't at least be given that um that uh, that title um what do you think about that guys also what do you think about all the players that we're linked with at the moment i see obviously we're still linked with Jaden sancho uh, but so are manchester united but we are very much linked with uh, philip coutinho and uh, not a knockdown price too i think barcelona are prepared to take something like a 70 million pound cut you all know he's been at Bayern Munich on loan. There was some talk about him maybe 
them giving them the benefit of doubt and him fighting for his place uh, back at the new camp. But I think they want to. Um, I think they want to offload, and I think we could probably pick him up between 50 and 60 million. I mean, would you go for that? Do you, do you think we need him? I think he's a class player. I don't think there's, you know, any sort of um, negativities on the fact that if we got Coutinho. I'd love Coutinho and Sancho. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. And what do you think about the left back? They're talking about Tellez, uh, but also they're not writing off the possibility still of uh, Ben Chilwell. Uh, what do you think about that, guys? Um, and what do you think about the league in general? Um, massive date was tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will really mark the 50th anniversary of the FA Cup final 1970 uh, when we played Leeds United uh, at Wembley. 2 2 draw, which went on to a replay. Obviously, we won at Old Trafford by two goals to one. But tomorrow is obviously the 11th. A very important day that for me, 11. Again, it's quite a spiritual thing, but. The 11th was um, uh, the 11th of April, 1970, was the time for the uh, for the first game, the game at Wembley. Uh, so it's quite a massive thing that you know. Uh, hence the reason why we brought out that kit this uh, season, that beautiful kit to uh, emulate that period of our history. What I want to say though, before I go, is I just want to say massive, massive respect to Chelsea with regards to how they're treating the people that work for the football club. Not just the players, but the the people that work in the background. You know, like the staff, the people that do the. Um, that's the one thing about this this virus is what it's done is it's equaled out um, perceptions on what's you know uh, important. You know, what in terms of uh, employment, like the van driver and the, the delivery driver, the postman and the, the NHS worker and the the the, uh, the shopping assistant or the you know the, the worker that um, works at Tesco's. They're now more important than than the hedge fund manager or something along those lines because without them you couldn't do without them. And I, I have to say, I think Chelsea and all of this um, reference Liverpool, Tottenham, Newcastle. Who I know Liverpool have retracted uh, that uh, situation, but um, I, I think that was more of a saving, uh, was a PR move on their part, saving their image. Uh, but you have to say, you know, multi-million pound football clubs is poor, and I think Chelsea have acted absolute class. Uh, they've allowed their hotels to be used by NHS staff and the restaurants, feeding them, etc. And I see they've also done some stuff for women's uh, refuge and uh, and the homeless too. Uh, massive respect to Chelsea and of course every single person. They're continuing to uh, to uh, uh, honour their wages and everything else. Uh, well, I just thought I'd do this video, guys. It's a bit of a ramble. Um, the only thing I'll say out there is stay safe. Um, love your loads, missing things. I'm gonna do some streams, I think. Just chuck some stuff out there. I might speak to Claude. We might do some old school stuff. Uh, let me know if you'd like that. Uh, and in the meantime, guys, um, as always, keep the blue flag flying. I love your loads, respect up the Chelsea, and um, stay safe, guys. Just stay safe.